I'm Eddie Carvalho, and I'm here with Robin Wilhelm. Robin is a triathlon coach based out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, I'm coaching about 50 athletes for the 70.3 as well as for the full Ironman. I had great success last year. Um, it's a wonderful venue and wonderful event, and we're just very excited to have it here in Chattanooga. So what can you tell us about the swim? Last year at the full Ironman, the downstream swim pretty much cut about 15 to 20 minutes off everybody's expected swim time. So you can expect to have a pretty fast swim, even though initially you're going to swim slightly upstream for a few hundred yards. Once you hit the downstream current, it's, um, it's going to take you swiftly to transition. The bike course is going to have its own set of challenges. Um, you're going to come out of Chattanooga and it's fairly flat until you get out um, past Chattanooga, out past St. Elmo, and then you hit some rollers and the rollers are going to probably tax your legs a little bit. There's two significant climbs. Um, on the course. One is Andrews Lane. It's a, essentially 105 feet. It's about a two to three minute effort depending on your ability. Okay. And then on the back side of it, it's a very, very fast downhill descent. Um, pretty straight, non-technical, so you get a lot of free speed on that. Um, but there is a rhythm to the course, so you need to know how to ride hills and use the momentum on the downhill to help, moment, you know, throw yourself up over the the next hill and then the ride back into town is very fast it's a pretty safe and fast course uh, my advice would be to use the swim as a warm-up get onto the bike and just be steady and you know as in any long distance triathlon the race doesn't really start until the second half of the run so um, get up and over the hills the best you can but don't burn too many matches and you know, really reserve your energy for that last half of the run and then kick it up a notch.